Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Markiplier related video and it's a distractible animation. And it's once again from Sir Walter Underbridge and it's Bob's Fridge Part 2. Now, I'm honestly surprised at how fast this came out. This is at least a week, at least a week and a half after Part 1 came out. So, man, I'm honestly surprised at how fast this came out. So... Like, when I saw that in my recommendation feed, I'm like, oh, wow, that was fast. So, um, I'm, re I'm really curious on how you're going to handle the second part of the story, which involved a very, bro a very broken water main, a PVC pipe broken, and really, really incompetent delivery drivers that were ten times worse than the ones from part one. So, I wonder how that is going to entail, but <laughs> it's kind of ironic that recently I finally got my distractible t-shirt and fridge stress ball. So the rage is going to begin, I assume. <laughs> I will also, again, will link to his to this guy's channel in the description and a card at some point during the video. So you can go check this guy's animations. He does, I think, every other Tuesday. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong on that, but... Hopefully, it's either every Tuesday or every other Tuesday. So, you can go check out this guy's work. So, anyways, let's just get right into it and see what crazy madness is gonna he's gonna do here. So, without further ado, let's react to this video, shall we? Welcome to Distractable, with your hosts, Mark, Bob, and Wayne. This week is Bob's Fridge. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Mark, Bob, and Wade for the shout out. Oh, that's sweet. That's awesome. I, uh, Wade <laughs> saw it, I think. Okay, so this middle act is kind of quiet, right? So the natural gas thing happened, and then there's a whole week where every day I'm calling the store to be like, hey, you guys tried to deliver us a fridge and it was dented and like you took it back. Like, when do we get the next one? Like, when can we get an idea? I spent an hour and 17 minutes on the phone to the store. I oh, went back man. and looked because I was shocked. And I never spoke to a human a single time. I was calling a specific department where I was supposed to be a person. <laughs> I called 11 What's with times this stupid over look? the entire course of a day. Every what time is I had that? five minutes, I'd call and be like, maybe I'll get someone now. And I didn't talk to a person the whole day. And their phone loop goes, you call an automated system, ask who you want to connect to. The phone rings in the department you call for a solid five minutes. Then you're connected back to the automated service who just does the exact same shit and reconnects you to the same phone. I love the date the on minutes. the phone says June 28th. And then you do that a third time, That's when the uh, episode the aired. Ringing, it just goes boop and hangs up. And <laughs> do you think they've got like a system in place where they saw who was calling? It's like the delivery guy put a note on your file. And it was like dented, dented fridge, fridge guy. guy. And they're like, mm, don't take that one. We're not taking that call. I don't know, man. I would love for that to be the case. I mean, just with everything he's doing. Clock. Exactly that. It was like me trying to call my pharmacy. <laughs> Clock. Cloak. I just need to about a prescription. And it's the same thing. Loop through to the pharmacy. It rings. Goes back to the machine. It goes back to the department. Rings three times. And then the same boot. I know that boot. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> the same thing. I get that, like, if you're not reaching someone, there has to be, like, an end point. They yeah. don't just want you to infinitely. But, God, like, get an answering machine or something. Like, fuck. Seinfeld had an answering machine. Yeah, it did. That's true. How does Lowe's not have an answering machine? <laughs> Even if you don't check it. I always feel like people exaggerate when they say how long they deal with these automated systems, but I know I've been in the exact same boat. I've dealt with it a little bit. If you have to call but it wasn't to the extent as what, of your day like, what probably Bob had to endure. That's what I don't get. They're supposed to save time. Their, Their time, time not, not, not ours. Time. That's the issue. <laughs> oh, save time because no one on the other end has to even answer. And you get so frustrated, you give up, and they're like, ah, oh, thank God, we didn't have to talk to that person. In the olden days. God, am I fucking old? Like, get off my <laughs> music playing at least you had something to listen to you you knew you were waiting and you could put it on speakerphone and back that you didn't have to go over brush over like ha, ha, the pharmacy oh, <laughs> the pharmacy did you hear me pharmacy i reached that point I oh my god that with the automated <laughs> system the first time i'm like oh yeah i'm trying to reach like appliances 
And then he'd be like, mm. connecting you to appliances. And like the, the sixth <laughs> time, I was like, that? fucking appliances. And she's like, connecting you to appliances. Can you imagine if like 911 had an automated system like oh, that? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> For class one emergency, press one. For class two emergency, that press would, two. That would be a very interesting 911 service. What's your problem? <laughs> 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 For bleeding, try calling 911 <laughs> and your extension will be 67942. Is this the majority of it? Is just them talking about the phones? Have you guys ever experienced this? There are a couple places. I think Lexi's vet and somewhere else that I call have like the same hold system. They have the yeah. same music. And I always get put on hold when I have to talk to these people. And literally it's like in my head, like... It's just like the same song over and over again. It's not like a playlist, like a Spotify playlist of the same of like twenty songs. God, like at least get a playlist. Vaguely music. And have a playlist for your whole music. It's the your mother-in-law. What? And it's the same song the whole time. There's not even like a different. It's like that one song. A and a B. And they're not even that different. Yeah, I'm like, they, they, they're like, we'll play some relaxing, relaxing music, music. And it's at max volume. Yeah, it's like <laughs> at the probably ear rape <laughs> volume. Yeah, and then the person that And you have to lower it so low, and, and then because, because you're the lost your hearing in that moment. <laughs> you have the music on, and you turn it way down, and then a person gets on, and they're like, Hello. Hey, and you're like, oh, God, God, God. <laughs> <laughs> fucking headaches from your. 38,000 decibel hold music. And they're either so pleasant it makes you more mad because you've been waiting so long or they're just like so nonchalant. Like There's no in between. They're either way too nice or way too apathetic. There's no in between. Yeah, I was called when they had, you know how they, the, we value your call. Like, oh yeah. It was someone at the place that recorded that so they picked up the phone like <laughs> we value your call. Please they're like in the middle of eating their lunch. <laughs> we value your call. <laughs> <laughs> as, the, as the phone is ringing, oh my the god! Phone, in the middle of that, there's a computer voice that comes on. And like we, we value, value your, your call. call. We're trying our best. To We're trying our it, best. And it goes back to ringing. <laughs> we <laughs> value <laughs> your call. Like, Please oh, keep waiting. We're like trying to get to so you. Just woke up with waiting. That we just hear them like, yeah, you value my fucking call. <laughs> Fuck your ass, stupid computer. Okay, so. There okay, I guess this is where it begins. Say, finally, we learned that was good, though. That I like we're that. gonna get a refrigerator. Last night, they sent me a message that was like, "Expect your delivery between 11 a.m. and." Woes again, five, 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 five. That's a whole <laughs> window, so it'll probably come at the least convenient part. But like, I'll set that window aside. That'll be fine. And this morning, I was literally on a call with you guys. And yeah, they were about to start recording like a distractible podcast episode. Me. It's the delivery guys. An hour and 40 minutes. And then literally, like, within house. that period, that, I guess, that I episode out, changed like, we'll be into this. And I'm because like, of all the chaos that it would happen. And he's like, I don't know, sir. We're on our way. And I'm like, this is incredibly inconvenient. Can you come at the time that you're scheduled? And he was like, nope, we're on our way. <laughs> oh, and well, so fuck then. <laughs> like, hey, I gotta go, I guess. We'll do this later, right? Okay, bye. So Shit. that's how it starts. No, I dented my up, fridge. And Fuck. The guy, of course, I mean, I get, I'm sure customers all the time try and tell these dudes, like, oh, this is the deal, here's what you should do. And they're like, no, 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 I know what I need to do. He gets there, and I'm like, okay, so we already tried. Yeah, you're trying to, like, tell them in advance, hey, we dealt with this before, it's not going to work. I have to go around back, I'll show you. And he's like, what do you mean we can't come in through the front? <laughs> and I'm like, Ooh. uh oh. I mean, we've, we've been here. Literally, I did this nine days ago. <laughs> I'm just saving you some time. It won't fit. And he's like, nah, nah, let me measure it. <laughs> <Fine>. Jerk. <laughs> well, also, like, fuck you. Like, God damn it. <laughs> uh, so he comes in, and he looks, and he measures the little door to the kitchen. He looks at me, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely not going to fit through here. And I look at him, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You want to see the other yard? <laughs> <laughs> being pissed at these people for not communicating and being pissed at the first guys for the gas line thing. I'm not being rude, but I'm already on the excuse. You're, like like you're like at this point where you're like fucking just here. put the I'm fridge in and, and let's move so on. Like I show on the side yard. I don't know how to take care of <laughs> the yard fact yet. that they're it's just dressed grass. like clowns because it's they're grass. ass clowns. Tall grass. And he's like, oh, 
Oh, I hope we can get through here. And we're casually <laughs> three foot tall, dead, thin grass. He's like, I don't know, can you trim this? And I was like, well, I thought I had an hour and a half before you were going to be here. That was the <laughs> Oh my god. Happens, this dude is like, oh god, oh, I don't know. And I'm like, just bring the break. <laughs> so I open the gate to the side thing and they brave the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Brave the jungle, which is my backyard. And so we have a fridge in there, and it already has a water line because it has an ice maker. And so you have to, to take it out to put the new one in. You have to pull it out. You have to undo the water line. There's supposed to be some kind of shutoff. These guys cannot find the shutoff. Oh, the my water God. Line. This and is where it gets me, good. Like, do you know how to do this? And I'm like, I don't know. Is it my fucking job to install a <laughs> <laughs> And like he looks at me, he's like, "There should be a shop. You should know where that is." I'm like, "Bro, I just fucking bought this house. Why would I?" Know anything about it? <laughs> just, I didn't install just like it. fucking and shaking like, the shaking the, the poor guy. Like, yeah, let me call her up. We're buddies. I bought her house, and now we get dinner every week. Obviously. Yeah, we're buddies. We have dinner every week. God. So his solution, his, his solution is he just unhooks the water, and the water just. <laughs> He just keeps the water. <laughs> he unhooks it, and he knows it's not shut off. And he's all surprised that water starts spraying everywhere. <laughs> he just kinks the water. Yeah, that's like, the okay, picture's well, like, ah! Just the water, and that'll be fine. And he holds it up to me and is like, I'm going to need you to hold this so we can finish. And I'm like, you know what? Fine. Uh, fine. For fuck's sake. I'm not going to make a joke about this or be angry. I'd just fucking go this, with get it. Get the fucking thing out of here. Bring the other one in here. Play and let's whatever, just get started, let's okay? This. And so I'm standing in my own kitchen holding a water line with a bucket under it because it's even kinked off. It's still dripping, right? So I'm holding a little bucket yeah. to make sure we don't mm -hmm. get any water everywhere. They bring the old one out. There's a front window in the kitchen so I can see them go out to the front where their truck is and they're doing stuff. And so I know they're like on the way. I kind of see what they're making progress. Yeah. And I'm just standing there with the stupid kinked hose that I can't leave and I just hear from the backyard like... Kerchink? Whoosh! And then like, oh shit! <laughs> and then I just start rushing around. And I just, and I'm standing here like, I can't go look. I don't know what's happening. It's <laughs> leaking. I have no idea where that would be coming from. They don't come in. They don't come ask me anything or do anything so that I can help. They're just rushing around back there. Like, oh, like I can kind of hear what they're doing. And Mandy is like working. Oh, like, poor Mandy. He, she had to endure this shit working, too. So I can't just be like, hey, come help. I stand there for maybe 10 or 15 minutes before I find <laughs> 15 minutes? Like, You're just energy. standing there? And they're like <laughs> scrambling like, what the fuck do we do? This so I can try and like help these idiots. <laughs> the water is erupting up out of the ground like a geyser has started gushing. <laughs> I don't know what has happened. Apparently, what genius, genius number, number two, two did is they had the fridge on a dolly <laughs> wide ways, right? So it's the widest way it could be to drag it around. And there was a bush. They were trying to drag it through this little path that's like, it's like a sidewalk width. It's not a wide path, but it's wide enough if the refrigerator was sideways, it probably would have fit right through. They were going to drag it through wide ways, and apparently it just fucking destroyed this bush. But oh. So apparently inside this bush is a PVC pipe coming out of the ground that's part of, like, the irrigation system. The, he just sees the bush and is like, fuck that bush. What he did was he uh. dragged the fridge right through the bush and What the fuck is that guy doing? The PVC pipe, and there's just a guy He's just bathing in the hose in the water. The and what they were doing when I went out there, which is apparently what they had been doing the whole ten minutes, is one of them was standing there staring, like thinking, and the other one had the broken off PVC <laughs> pipe. It was trying to like jam it back on. Like it was just gonna <laughs> put it back on. Trying to like put it back on. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> and they're looking at him like, what do we do? I don't started boiling at this point inside of me. Oh they looked my over God. at me and blankly looked at me and gestured <laughs> at the water and looked at the water and looked back at me like I'm gonna fucking fix it. <laughs> like I don't know what the hell is happening and how to fix this. <sighs> Taking cleansing breaths, punching my fists a little too hard, digging my nails into my palms, kinda hurts. hurts. Oh, Okay. God. Please. Yeah. So, like, literally, they did this.
this. And the one guy who, apparently the guy who was standing there watching is the one who did it. And he looked at me and he was like, I can't believe that pipe was in there. It was hidden in there. And I just, it's an accident, you know? And, like, I wish I had said this, but it's not like it's a little, it's not grass. It's not a flower or something. You could, like, ooh, push it over and scoot. It's a big fucking bush. To get the thing <laughs> through where he got it through, he literally had to pull it up to that gap, and it stopped. And he was like, ooh, this bush is in the way. And he was just like, no, it's not. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> God you added that part that you included that moment because holy shit that moment to me is the funniest part is when you know that goddamn fucking guy when he goes oh that bush is in the way and then he's like no it's not let's go <laughs> just that oh my god dude that was just so good that was so fucking good I love, you know, the, the discussion about, you know, dealing with automated phone systems and, you know, going through the, the bullshit of, like, listening to a freaking phone ringing and then connecting to this automated service and then you have to press this to go to this department and then going through a repeat over and over and then eventually they will hang up on you. Dealing with that shit... I've dealt with it slightly, but not to the extent as of how they described it. Like how Mark had to deal with it with his getting a prescription for his, you know, medication. Bob, with what he had to deal with that whole week leading up to this. All that. So, you know, I could totally understand, like, how that is. It's a pain in the ass. I can only imagine how annoying it is. Like, hopefully I don't have to endure that kind of nonsense later in life, you know? Hopefully I don't have to endure that shit. But uh, overall, that was great. And I love, you know, just the description and just... The fact that the delivery, you know, truck drivers for the second go around are dressed like clowns because they clearly are just clowns and they're just clearly not good at their job and they're just acting like fucking asses. You know, that kind of thing. So that's pretty funny that they did that and again just again the whole build the build up to the moment with you know the with the pvc pvc pipe breaking and you know just have that moment when the the one of the delivery guys disconnected the old fridge from that little little tube thing and then the water just starts spewing and then it hit the 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 paint the little picture of you know of the guys you know um channel icon the channel icons like reacting to like ah oh, I'm getting hit with water too. I thought that was pretty funny, but my gosh, that was just so good. I love that. I cannot wait for more part three, which is gonna be like the, I guess the final part of it all. There's more to it, obviously. There's a lot, a lot more to this because. He still has to endure just the nonsense with, you know, the people, like, again, like, looking at the fact that the delivery guys are looking at him for fucking, as if they were, as if Bob was the one in charge of everything, and he was the one in, <laughs> that he was gonna do that. Oh my gosh. Like, dude. <laughs> I can't understand. 
feel like that's still funny. The fact that those two, those delivery drivers are like, we must listen to the to this guy. We need we need to listen to Bob, even though we were pissing him off. That kind of thing. Oh, jeez. So good. So funny. Really enjoyed that. Cannot wait for part three, obviously. I seriously cannot wait for part three. That was just too good. Cannot wait for part three, dude. Take your time with that. That's for sure. Don't rush it out. Just take your sweet ass time with it. You want it to be as good as possible. You know what I mean? So don't rush yourself. But anyways, I think overall that's really it on this reaction. But, uh, yeah. Honestly, uh, I cannot wait for the next part to it. And hopefully you do more animations from other, you know, funny, you know, stories. Related from Distractable. You know, I, I want to see your, your take on certain stories. Even some stories that haven't been animated yet. Like, maybe, you know, do something involving the infamous, you know, oh, the parkour story with Mark when, you know, he got um into this parkour club. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, you know, that'd be, uh, that'd be a nice thing to do right there. I don't know, but um, hopefully part three comes out pretty soon, and uh, I'm really excited for it. So once again, Sir Walter Underbridge, link to his to this guy's channel is in the description, and will a card will appear at some point during the video itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make cool ads and market Jack, Jacksepticeye, and myself. I just act as a cosplays on there, so go check it out. And be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!